Oh shit! Ah, you didn't see that? Yeah. Yeah, it's coming right there, look. I should just move, bro. You move? Yeah, bro. Come on. Yeah, they're gonna slam into a, you right here. Corner right here, coming around this corner pretty quick. All right, we'll yeah. go up here and we'll start talking. All right. <laughs> Hell yeah, it's a turret. Yeah. Big mother, bro. Dang. That one is a license plate camera right there, bro. Pussy. You're a big pussy, David Miscavige. David Miscavige, you're a big pussy for fucking hiding your wife, you bitch. There, bro. Damn. All right, guys, this should be the news first out here with Nancy Nathaniel, Antelope Valley Watchman 661. And West Coast Digital. We out here at the gold base. We're still walking their property line. We've been walking for about 30, 40 minutes now. I'm lying. We've been walking about 15, 20 minutes now. Still haven't cleared their property line. That foot took off, uh. Yeah, you know what? I, I was thinking, like, we, we... Whoa, watch out. No, yeah, bro, that didn't, that didn't oh, move. Wrong, bro. He came right when we left. And he turned back around and went the other way, and he's still got those girls in the car with him. It's like... <laughs> All right, so this guy that has been trying to talk to us a couple times, he's pulled over on the side of the road. Now there's a second car with him. Yeah, this is a little bit really cool. 
They're just curious, man, like you. Oh, I know. I've been ever since we've been back here, we've just been going out. I mean, we haven't really had anybody come out after us, though, but I mean, security goes after like the people that off road out here. That's about it. So, like, what is it that you guys do? Just try to call them out on like the imprisonment and all that stuff? Yeah. You know about all that? A little bit. We watched the Leanne Ramey show, the, the War Against Scientology. Yep. So like, I'm against it. You know, they call themselves a religion, but yet, you know, they don't believe in God, and that's what's funny. Yeah, it's a fake religion, man. You know, that's uh, it's a man-made religion of science, you know? Yeah. But everybody has their own beliefs. We're not against their beliefs or anything. We're just against their abuse and their, yeah, it's the their aggressiveness, you know? Yeah, yeah thank you. Thank you, sir. But yeah, it's, just, it's a trip. Yeah, man, you just gotta be aware. You gotta, you gotta make yourself aware. You know, you gotta make yourself aware and, and know your surroundings and know who's around your area. You know, and, and yeah. that's about it. You know, we're just here to bring awareness to the people that don't know about the corruption. You know, but uh, we're we're not against the church at all. You know, they can they have their own beliefs. Everybody has the freedom of religion uh, protected yeah. under the First Amendment. You know. So, so we're not against the religion, we're against the abuse, we're against exactly. the brutality and uh, the people that come up missing, the people that get shut out, you know, the families that are broken because of, of uh, their disconnect policy. If you don't agree with their policies, yeah. then you got to disconnect from your family, your friends, your kids, you know? Yeah, that was... Uh, so that's it, man. That was the last video, too, that we saw. A, uh, it was a husband and a wife, I think it was, and I guess the church here made them supposedly divorce or whatever yep. and then like he couldn't have contact with you her might or whatever. Be careful. Well, they're wrong. Okay. And then he uh, I guess he met her on the far wash on the other side of the property and that's where he met her and picked mm -hmm. her up. And then so far that was as much as we got into it because there hasn't really been any new postings or anything right, yeah. on it other than Leanne Ramey. So Yeah, she's she's uh exposing them in the corporate world that we're just trying to keep the underground the underground world you know yeah. involved you know and, and keep them aware you know that these people still exist out here and and they're they're the way they approach us you know is is disrespectful you know yeah they say oh you guys show up and you're filming this what do you expect you know but we didn't we didn't go and shove cameras in their face they approached us and and uh and the cameras came out yeah so that's how it is you know that's the aggression they want to show to people that want to expose them they try to intimidate you and scare you away yeah so so that's all we're here to do yep i know that they own the Hemet station here uh my mom's actually a retired sheriff for oh really 15 years and uh, she's been a part of some investigations oh here. okay I mean, they can't talk about it but right yeah i mean she's been out here a couple times yeah I, I bet yeah i've asked her if she's known anything about it she just tells me it's a cult stay away from it yeah so. yeah you gotta <laughs> if you're gonna be involved you gotta you gotta expose them for what they are and just keep at it because they'll try to push you away yeah. You know, that's what they did today. That's why they call the police when we come out, you know. So they but didn't turn the sprinklers on on you guys? Not or? today. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, the, cop, the cop did try to set him up on a privacy type issue. Yeah, he, he pulled uh, out his... He showed some paperwork, put it down, gave it to him. And then uh, as soon as he started throwing something out, he tells us, you can't film, it's private information. And I uh, said, you guys could be in a lot of trouble for that. Damn. And that's when we had to go ahead and call him a few names and let him know. Uh, yeah, we so called them out on the it, Was it sheriffs or CHP? Sure. Sheriff. 
I was yep. out here two years ago, and and it was both the CHV and the Sheriff. I think I saw your video. Is it on YouTube? Uh, Guy wearing a ski mask, just like you. No, that wasn't me. I wasn't no. wearing a mask. Oh. I mean, I've been to different protests and stuff like that, but. Okay. Yeah. yeah, actually, it just trips me out <laughs> that this place is allowed to be here like this. Yep, nobody's doing anything about it. We just told them that Shelly Miscavige is missing, which is the wife of the uh, the leader. Yeah. And uh, they they act like they had no clue. You know, it's an ongoing investigation since 2007. Yeah. And nobody knows about it. Nobody heard about it. They don't even report her as a missing person because they're just holding her, you know, they don't release it, but they're holding her in there. You know, they don't want her to talk yeah. to the public. You know, they're keeping her. She used to be active in the church and now she's not active, so. So she just disappeared. Yeah, so that's the thing that people want to know. Where is she, you know? Yeah. And something you should know about this place, too. I mean, you know, people, have yeah. I mean people have literally had to escape from here. And it's been yeah. well documented. I mean, there's books. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how well you know about it because you're from this area. But uh, Well, I'm not, from had to... this, yeah, I'm not from this area. We just recently moved up here. Um, <coughs> my mother-in-law, she's, she's from here. And... Um, She's never really known anything about it, other than the rumors that they make porno here. And <laughs> I, I don't know if that's really? true. No. Well, supposedly, I don't know if it's true, but. Well, well, that's that's been the rumor, though. The pornography rumor has been surrounding this place since early 2000s. So, but when you try to link um, Golden Era production. It is funny that when you link uh, Golden Air Productions, an adult entertainment industry does pop up. So, I mean, I'm like, huh. Maybe that's right. where the... That might be what Golden Air really does, but I'm not. They make their, like, promotional films, They're, like, for Scientology.org and, you know, all their little, you know, yeah. uh, Way to Happiness and all their little off groups. And, My uh, interest came about the whole sea work thing i don't agree with the fact that they wear naval uniforms and they have nothing to do it's a part with the military. u.s armed forces you well know? you know where it's, that came from that came from because in 1967 l ron hubbard took to sea because he was trying to avoid subpoenas the irs was after him yeah you know he was convicted of an abstention in france you know so he, he was on the run so he he bought a, a fleet of ships three ships yeah. And he he, uh, he sailed, he started sailing around the world because, you know, for him it was safer, you know, to be in international waters where it would be harder to be, you know, served a subpoena yeah. or, or arrested or whatnot. So, and, and he pretty much kept in hiding for the rest of his life. So that's why they call it the Sea Org. Yeah. Because the Sea Org formed in sea, but then when they went to land, you know, uh, when they, they moved into Clearwater, Florida, you know, that, that was when they, they, they just kept the name Sea Org. Yeah, because of the tradition, but that was that's where that comes from. It, it was just a trip to me, you know, the fact that they do have all this maximum security stuff, you know, and it, and it almost looks like, you know, a military installation. And it, of course, people are going to come walking up to find out and try to figure out what it is, whether it be a protester or just somebody who decides they want to walk down the easement here. And next thing you know, you got armed security rolling up your butt, you know, yeah. trying to say, oh, you can't be here, you can't be here, da 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 da. And we just don't, we don't think it's right. No, I mean, they try to run people off the side of the mountain. Yeah, they keep watching the sheep over on the other end of the property. Was you see that one? Why do you think you stopped right here, bro? This actually, um, this actually... He's trying to kill our time, bro. Yeah. They're trying to get people together in their cars. Let's keep walking. Hey, Jose. Yeah. This actually used to be a, a, a county road. It was called Sublet Road. Right? Yeah. And it was paid, and there were houses on this road. It's just a, like a, it was like a cul-de-sac. This is the length of it. Uh, but um, the houses were owned by the church. They actually had like Sea Org uh, housing in these little private houses. But the road was a public road. It was a county-maintained road. Yeah. But when people would come down here and shoot and stuff like that, I mean, like, you know, photography and stuff. Um, yeah. You know, the security would come out here and try to run them off. You know. So what Scientology started doing was they started putting uh, like road closed signs. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you.